welcome back to my channel my name is Christina and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got to this look right here on my face and as you guys can tell from the title this is an expired look from time the infamous the last two videos that she's put out she had on this gorgeous like subtle neutral I, I don't even know what to call it it was just straight up gorgeous so as soon as I seen it I was like you know what I'm gonna recreate this look knowing her she'll probably put the tutorial up already but I wanted to go ahead on and recreate this look myself before the tutorial came out if there is going to be a tutorial so the only thing that I feel like mine's is lacking is the glitter I don't have like a neutral glitter that she might have had on I'm not really sure I was trying to figure out if it was like a neutral or a gold but I couldn't figure out so whatever I decided to go glitter list for that but that's the only thing i feel like my look is lacking but this is just my interpretation separation separation this is my interpretation of what i seen when she was wearing in the last two videos that she's posted if you guys are interested to see how i recreated this look then sit back and relax enjoy the tutorial and i'll see y'all in my next video bye you right, guys so the very first step is going to be to prime your eyelids i decided to go with nyx's pure white base you guys know it's one of my favorites and it looks like this it's just super white and i'm putting that on my eyelid with a lip brush from elf and i'm just gonna spread it on with the brush and then i'm gonna blend it out with my finger next i'm gonna go into a oldie but goodie palette of mine this is my bh cosmetics 120 palette this is the second edition and to this color right here on this right here this is a creamy off white type of color and i'm just gonna put that onto my highlighting area into the exact same palette and i'm going to take the color right up under that one which is this tan color down here and i'm going to take that on a big fluffy blending brush the blending brush that i'm using i believe is from bh cosmetics as well and i'm just gonna focus that right up under the highlighting color and i'm not pulling it too far down into my crease i'm more like just placing it on top and blending it back and forth next we're going to go into the maybelline eye studio palette and i am going to take this shimmery gold champagne color right here in the center and like i said this one is the one for green eyes but you don't have to have green eyes in order to buy it and i'm going to take a mac flat shader brush for this but i'm just going to pat that on the on my eyelid starting in the center and then slowly working my way over down right here and i'm going to take it on a angled flat brush and i'm going to pat the color onto the rest of my lid and then with the angled part of my brush i'm going to go back into the product and then i'm going to drag it upwards in my crease area towards my eyebrow bone so we're placing that color right up under that tan color not tan right up under that khaki color that we put on the top of our crease earlier and we're going to pull it upwards and so you're not going to close your eye and you're just going to pull it upwards towards your brow and then with take a circled blending brush and I'm going to blend that out with um, a clean brush. And this brush is from Morphe. I don't know the number of it. I got it at IMAT and you know how some of them don't have numbers on them. But this is the brush that I'm using. I used it clean and I just used it to blend out the color. 121. 120 palette. Second edition. I am going to take this dark brown over here. And I'm going to take that onto the e.l.f. circle brush. As you guys know, if you have this brush, it's a much more denser brush than the brushes that I've used before. And that's what you want. You want a very dense brush because you're going to be taking this onto the outer crease in the outer corner of your eye. And as I put it down, I blended it out. I didn't place it, then blended it out. As I was putting it down, I moved my brush in circles as I was putting it around so it'll be very nice and subtle and smoky so there will be like a slight gradient but quickly the foundation that I'm wearing is the L'Oreal lift blur foundation I'm in a shade 12 tan and I put that on with real cosmetics buffing brush and then I just buff that all over my face and I mixed these two together and then blended it out or more like placed it out and blended it out with my finger and then I went back in with the real uh, techniques buffer brush and then I went in 
buffs around areas of the catalytic just so it'll be nice and blend out well. For contouring, I went in with the LA Girl Concealer again, and this is in the shade Espresso. And I just took that down my cheeks and around my forehead and nose, and then I blended out with the Real Techniques Contouring Brush. And then, as you guys can see, as I blend it out, I'm just having a little fun. Using a eyeshadow from my Inglots palette, you guys know I like to double up my blushes as eyeshadows. So the one that I'm wearing today, pinky one down here, and I just threw that on my cheeks lightly. I'm not sure if time had on a blush, but as I was looking at the look, I thought it would look really good. So I put on this pinky one here. Highlighter, I use the um, concealer and highlighter from e.l.f. again. I use the highlighting side, of course, and I just dotted some sides on each part of my face and on my nose, and then tapped it in the area where I wanted it to be just just to really focus I didn't want to blend it out I just tapped it in until it went away and line my lips with NYX's light brown pencil and when I was lining my lips I shaved on the sides just a little bit like I colored it in just a little bit so the center of my lips will look more full and more bigger Then for the lip gloss, I went in with Love with Long Love Love by Mac, and this is a pro lip. Um, this is a pro long wear lip glass. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that. It's a pro long wear lip glass. 